What's up guys? Today is the day we are finally going to install the spoiler on the 2015 Mustang GT. I know it's been a while since I've posted anything, but that's about to change. Duncan and I, we have decided that we are going to try to upload at least two videos a week. Now keep in mind, I do have two jobs. I have my military job and also my civilian job. So obviously that's gonna have a, a big play in things, but I'm gonna do the best I can to really start buckling down and doing some videos for you guys. And um, let's get into it. So first we are going to take some of this alcohol and we're gonna prep our spoiler. And then we're gonna take primer and we're gonna prime it so it gives something for the vinyl to really stick to. know I'm using the universal bonding primer it's supposed to help anything you put on here bond whether it's paint vinyl uh, basically anything so we're gonna try it out and we're gonna see how it works It's, it's Florida, so it's really hot. And uh, it's like 90 degrees out right now. So it's drying really fast. So I did a little bit heavier coat and I'm gonna let this kind of dry. So it's been about five minutes now and it's already dry to the touch. Like I can touch it, feel it, move it around and it is perfectly fine. So we're gonna flip it around and we're gonna do the back side. And we're just gonna keep repeating that process until we run out of paint or primer. Metro Restyling and they've got a bunch of different colored wraps, different kinds, textured wraps, gloss wraps, matte wraps, I mean anything you can imagine they have and their prices are extremely reasonable as well. So I've never actually used them before so this is going to be a first time but we're going to try it out and I'll definitely let you know how it holds up as it goes through this Florida weather, because like I said, we get a lot of sun, but I went with the gloss black. It comes in a five by five roll. Well, that's what I ordered is a five by five roll. And it, I mean, it's, it's plenty for what we're gonna have to do today, but they come in all sorts of different sizes. You can get 
5x5, I think 4x5 is the smallest knot you can get. And it goes all the way up to, I think it goes up to about 50 yards. We're just going to let this dry for probably 25-30 minutes. And while this dries, we're going to take the old spoiler off. So to take the old spoiler off, you're going to need a 10 millimeter and you're going to pop these, this grommet out right here. And then these push pins are going to need to come out. These here, all the way across, you're going to take this insulator out or off. And then there's, I think there's going to be three more bolts or two in the middle and then one more on the side. So we'll go ahead and take that off real quick and we'll get the spoiler off. That's it. Well, as you can see, there is no spoil on there. And that is because I epically failed at wrapping it. Only because, and I'm going to say this, do not try to wrap a spoiler or anything, in my personal opinion, by yourself that is not attached to the car. It was extremely difficult trying to hold the spoiler and pull the wrinkles out and get it flat and not let it get bunched up. It was just way too difficult. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the spoiler. I already put 3M tape on it and I'm just going to go ahead and apply it on here. I am absolutely loving this look. That is, that just looks so aggressive. And I don't even have the side pieces on yet. What's up guys, it is the next day again. And today does not have a very good story. I can tell you that much. So it has been raining for the past two days, which is why it's taken me so long to finish this project. And today I wake up and I have realized that the whole project is completely ruined, like done. All this moisture in the air, all this rain and me not being able to finish it, the uh, moisture got underneath the wrap and it's bubbling up and the more I tried to mess with it, the worse it got and it's just not going to work. The other problem is these corners and so I'm going to pull the, the wrap and we're just going to paint it for now. Uh, we're just going to re-sand it all down, re-primer and we're just going to do gloss black paint. But I need more practice. 
these corners here were extremely difficult to wrap. Um, this is probably my second time ever wrapping anything. And this corner just, it took me by surprise and I didn't prepare mentally or physically. Um, I did my research and I thought I knew what I was, I was doing. And I, I mean, the first one was not bad. Like I, I was able to get that one. I fixed it. It was a little messed up. I fixed it. But the second one, uh, after the wrap was already messed up and bubbled up and all that, I, I just couldn't get it to work. So like I said, the whole project is pretty much scrapped and it has made me realize that I just need a lot more practice. The other part that I would like to add in addition to starting to wrap the trim pieces on the inside is I want to start picking up a few cheap you know, beaters out there with minor issues. And I, I just really want to get my hands inside and or, you know, around the vehicle as far as mechanics go, you know. I haven't done a lot of mechanical work uh, in the last couple, probably the last couple years. And I just, I need to refresh myself with a lot of things. And the only way to do it, like I said, is just to get busy, you know? So I'm gonna start trying to find some of these cheaper cars with some issues and I'm gonna start fixing those. And uh, who knows, I'll probably just turn around and sell them or I, mean, I might keep a few of them for when Duncan gets here and we'll start making rally videos. You know, we, we live in Florida, got a lot of land, got a lot of time and well, not really a whole lot of time, but we can make some time. If you guys get us some views, we'll go full time on YouTube and get some of that good, good content. No, but seriously guys, um, I would like to start doing that. If you guys are interested in that, also let me know if there's any type of cars you guys want me to look for let me know let duncan know because he's looking out for some of those as well but so far that's about all i've got for you guys and i'm sorry that the wrap turned out so bad but we're going to try again we're going to redeem ourselves and we'll see where it goes from there but stay tuned we are going like i said we are going to take the wrap off and we're just going to paint the spoiler for now in gloss black and um Hopefully that turns out better. We're gonna get a lot of rain here in Florida this summer, always do. So we're just gonna have to kind of work around the weather and hope that we can get a few videos in. But you guys have a great afternoon or a great morning, whatever time I upload this video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.